kind of lost the momentum in the air, missed the landing, and then when I landed, uh, David Herman hit my uh, my rear wheel and my uh, my ass, and um, that's when I lost control uh, over my bike. I went over the bar straight into uh, into the next lip, and uh, that was that was it. That was the end of the story. Um, I think we're about seven, seven and a half weeks away from the first race in, in London. Um, so that gives me uh, seven weeks to uh, to prepare for it, and um, I can guarantee you that I'll I'll be I'll be out there and I'll be on my strongest um, and as fast as I can be. Welcome back, episode two. Lead the way of Yellow Fink Walker. This is our gym. Um, it's very important because uh, here we train our strength, um, which we need in the first, let's say, five to eight cranks. Um, so that's like 80% of the race, so it's really important. So we want to work out. We want to do a good workout here, and we have awesome facilities, as you can see. So. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, um, I come from a long way, um, so I need to be happy where, uh, with where I am right now. Um, so I'm sat satisfied with that. Um, still, some small things to work on. A little, little pain here and there, but um, it is what it is, and I got to deal with it. So, um, like you said, the Olympics are coming close, and uh, it starts over four, in four days. But we have a little bit more, uh, more time to our first races. So. Um, yeah, like I said, I, it's, I came from a long way and I, I'm happy with where I am right now. I started BMX when I was about three and a half years old, almost four. Um, got my first um, crazy supermarket BMX bike uh, from my mother's aunt. Uh, rode it in the street, um, almost crashed it a couple of times already before I even got to a BMX track. Um, but once I hit the BMX track, I was just sold, never, never left it, and I'm still here. 